Previously, I've just been realizing how many things can actually be done with scrap wood. His name is Marcus. Don't look him in the eye. Do not let your children play outside unsupervised. Do not walk alone at night. And I ain't never seen anything like it. It took its legs clean off. Oh no. <laughs> His name is Marcus. Don't look him in the eye. Recording. Let me tell you what, one of my least favorite parts of making videos is filming the intro. Because I never know what to say, I have no idea what I'm doing, and everything sounds stupid. What's up? My name's Tapanot, and I make stuff. Because I can. And because who's gonna stop me? Today I have a new project, and it's a very high stakes project. A man's heart has been damaged, and his joy has been taken away. I need to bring it back. I was out with my brother yesterday and he was shooting his, his bow and arrows, shooting, you know, the, that's not the sound they make. You're gonna miss. You're gonna, you're gonna miss this one, I can feel it. Ah. He was shooting at a target, we were having a good time, and things took a turn. Ha! <laughs> Barry says you're a loser. Barry's my bear. I don't get to say what Barry says. I heard him say it. He's a loser, isn't he, Barry? He's had this stuffed bear since he was about six, seven, and he loves the thing to death. He would eat with it, he would sleep with it. He insisted it have a booster seat in the car so that his neck wouldn't snap if we crash. But yesterday, for some reason, he was not as focused as he usually was. Something was a little off. <laughs> did it on purpose. I bet you're gonna do it on purpose again. Of course, that was partly, probably my fault, a little bit. Barry says you were better when the arrows had suction cups on them. Not what Barry said. But things quickly took a turn for the worst. Barry says he wishes he was my bear. Barry! I think I can fix him. Look, I think I think I can fix him. I think I can No stop. Look. I, I can fix him. I can make him exactly the way he was before. Just like he was before? Exactly the way he was before. Are you sure? Yes. You have to trust me with him. Can you I can make him Do you trust me? It's okay, Barry. He can fix you. We're gonna try. Oh no, Barry. This is really bad. Barry, uh, this hurts me more than it hurts you, but this is going to require complete facial reconstruction. It's gonna be okay, buddy. I'm gonna be working with clay and we're gonna need what's called a wire armature that just gives the clay some structure and something to grab onto. So I started with chicken wire and then reinforced it with some thicker copper wire that I had on hand. Just kind of interwove everything. And then I used some smaller pieces of crafting wire, like twist ties to lock everything in place. The ends of the wire, especially around the edges of the chicken wire, were very pokey. So I folded over some pieces of tin foil to wrap it around the edges and protect my fingers. It actually tore up my fingers pretty badly. I probably should have been wearing some kind of gloves. I'm setting this aside. It's going to come back into play later, but I wanted to go ahead and make it first so that I had a sense of scale for reference. I've never really worked with clay before. This is super sculpy medium. It doesn't really have much flavor. It's polymer clay. You gotta knead it before you work with it, but then after you bake it, it basically turns into a kind of plastic. I had to mess around with the tools and figure out what I could do with them. I found out if I start with a series of lines all the way down and then roll down it with this spherical tool, it created this sort of organic looking, ripply, wavy kind of shape that was exactly what I was looking for. I was really happy with how they turned out. They, they kind of looked like okra a little bit. I went ahead and made a lot of them in a variety of sizes, hoping this will be all I need to finish the project.
Hey, buddy. What you doing? What? I'm watching yeah. Finding Nemo. Watch okay. this stupid movie. What? Six times and I still can't find him. I know he's in here. Okay. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, like you're usually a lot more focused when you're doing your bow and arrow out there. What happened? I'm gonna have nightmares. Like, <laughs> like every night. I go to sleep, and all I see is this weird looking six by six piece of wood. It's like everywhere. I hate six by sixes. I don't know what to do. I go to sleep anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to get this bear fixed as soon as possible. After they were baked and cooled, I started with a base coat of white spray paint. But nothing has pure white teeth, so we're going to have to add a little bit of character to these things. When I'm mixing paints, I like to try to get the exact color that I'm going for on the first try, just by squirting in the exact right amount of each color. I've gotten pretty good at it. I'm like a human inkjet printer. Usually it takes a, a few small adjustments, but sometimes I get it on the first shot. I'm gonna add some water to this because that'll make it easier to wipe it off. I don't want it to stick and dry completely. I just want to kind of tone down the white. I feel like the more different steps of painting you do, the more realistic something looks. Started off with just white and then we added sort of a dirt stain layer and then a, a black stain layer. I'm gonna keep the black close to the base. I gotta say, I really love doing this kind of painting where you just, you're adding character and gritty, realistic details. They actually ended up more gross than I wanted them to be. So I made a mix of water, white paint, and craft glue to help it stick. And then I dipped them all in that. That whitened the teeth back up a good bit. And the glue actually had an unexpected side effect. It added little cracked textury areas, which was just bonus points. And I put a clear gloss coat on top of that to make the teeth look shiny and a little bit wet. <coughs> I'm having bad dreams again. It's like a concurring nightmare. It's what? It's slithering across the ground? It tries to bite me? If anybody's seen this, I might be dead. And I go and try to see people, and then people are like, they're like square trees, I don't know what's going on, I can't sleep. Now it's time to take the wire basket that we made earlier and cover it with clay. I found what seems to be the best way to knead the dough is actually to roll it out like a snake and then fold it over and roll it again. It's most effective if you start with small pieces, but small pieces are for whips, so we're gonna roll the whole block. Once I had the entire armature covered, I had the idea to actually bend in the top and bottom to make it more of a cartoony Wallace and Gromit type mouth. I think this was the most fun part of the entire project, just sculpting out the inside of the mouth, finding all the different kind of textures and patterns I could put on things. To get ideas for all of this, I actually found a video online of a bear trying to eat a GoPro camera, and it actually had some really good shots, and I partially based my design on that, especially the roof of the mouth. I really love the practice of cutting out and sculpting individual pieces and then blending them together into a cohesive mouth hole. This is where we get to see a little sneak peek of what this is going to look like because I need to make indentations for the teeth in the gums and then we'll pull them out and bake it and then put them back in later. You can't let your fears get in the way of you not being afraid. Sometimes. I have to do strong things and be a strong man and have strong fear because I got to be a man. I've done the calculations and my hands are the equivalent of like five grit sandpaper. They're so tough. Five. One, two, three, four. 
that's not enough to sandwich. But I tell you what, if I slap somebody, it's like you ripped the face off. I've learned that being tough takes a man like me. And a man like me does all kinds of things that regular men can sometimes do, but not usually. I found out with enhanced mental focus, I can run an extra three miles per hour on a bad day. On a good day, 25. And that's after I'm already going 20 miles an hour. All right, this is the home stretch. I think Barry wants his face back. Let's hit it with some isopropyl alcohol. This will dissolve the outer layers of the clay and get rid of fingerprints. No evidence. Fun thing about this project, I got to play with a lot of things that look a lot like dentist tools. If this was a real dental procedure though, you could uh, count me out. The inside of a real bear's mouth is actually brown, but I thought the pepto bismol color would be a bit more fun and cartoony. sprayed on a coat of gloss lacquer to make it look wet and it was very effective kind of gross more epoxy to hold the fur onto the lips note for the future epoxy and furry fabric do not mix well Let's trim away this excess cheek material for maximum smile the mouth is so heavy, if you sit the bear down, he just kind of squishes flat. So I'm gonna try to fix that with some mattress foam. Make this guy built like a beast! I actually had to sculpt the foam too, if I didn't want the bear to look like a cube. Dude, I brought something for you. I've been working really hard on this. What do you think? He's just like he was before. Nice. That's a good job. I, you know, I didn't think you could actually do it, but you did. Dude, like, wow. That's a really good job. I'm glad, man. I don't need but, any more, though. But, but he's just, just like he was before. 
This project was so much fun. I got to work with so many things that I've never tried before, mainly clay. If I were to do anything differently on this, I would like it if I had figured out a way to build the shape of the mouth without using clay because the clay is really heavy and also kind of expensive, but I can really figure it out in another way to get that shape and still be able to put it in the oven. So I don't know. Uh, also the epoxy was just really, that was rough and it caused a lot of places in the fur to clump and it's just kind of gross. You can't really see it. It looks good to the eye, but you can feel it. I wish I had a solution to that, that there, I don't really know what I could do differently. I need two things from you guys. One, comment down below. Tell me what you think would make this channel better. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what I should lean more into. And two, I would still love to start featuring some of you guys' artwork on the channel. Kind of like we feature the comments, I want to feature artwork. Show me what you've made. The goal of this channel is to inspire you to make more stuff, get creative, get adventurous, try building new skills that you've never delved into before. Send me pictures, send me videos, whatever it is you work on, I want to see it, I want to feature it. Shoot it all over to topplenaut at gmail.com. I feel like a little kid standing here holding this teddy bear the whole time. Thanks for watching and for being patient because it takes so long to put these videos together when I have a full-time job. I'll see you next time.